Howdy folks, uh, John from uh, the Jersey Shore. Uh, I just realized I didn't do a shutdown video of my new Outback inverter, so I wanted to do a shutdown video and show uh, what exactly I have in my house running in case of a power failure. Um, these are my two meters. The one on the right um, is uh, strictly for the uh, backup power. That tells me how much backup power I've been using. Um, I I have tested this um, on uh, when I first got the Outback inverter on, in March, as you can see on the date on the bottom of the meter there, and uh, that hasn't changed too much. So the power really doesn't go out here too often, but in case of a storm, it does go out. Um, and then the uh, meter on the left, uh, it fluctuates; it goes up and down. Uh, and it tells me how much power I'm making um, since I've put the system in. So uh, I've seen it at 307, but if the batteries uh, need to be charged, uh, it will go back. So I, it's like you go two steps forward, you take two steps back if the batteries need charging. So... Um, so do, we're going to do the shutdown, and I just want you to to keep an eye on these meters and um, also we'll, we're going to see uh, this do uh, its thing um, it's a little hard to to make out the display on this oh there we go um, this uh, this has about uh, I have 10 circuits um, 2 to 8 is on the battery backup on the Outback. One, nine, and ten uh, come on with the generator. So I'm also going to do the generator test too, because uh, I haven't started that in a while and I want to get that started. And uh, we'll, I'll just walk around the house and I'll show you everything that I have on. Uh, first, I'll uh, show you the uh, what the, yeah, the Outback's control and and then um, the three circuits, which I believe is just strictly for the kitchen. Because that uses the higher uh, um, amount of power. Uh, one, nine, and ten, I believe, is for the kitchen. But um, I didn't get a chance to label this yet, and I rewired it, it all and everything. So uh, we'll walk around the house and we'll uh, see what the Outback's controlling. And then I'll kick on the generator and see what's left. All right. Um, so basically, right now, I'll, I'll go into system status, um, and, uh, let's see, okay, so, these are the two phases, and this is the, uh, the output of two phases. This is what I'm using right now, as far as the electricity. So phase one, and phase two. And then um, we'll do a shutdown, and then we'll see what I'm making or what I'm powering. All right, stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm ready to hit the uh, main off, and uh, we'll see what's uh, powered up with the Outback. Okay, folks, uh, the UPS is on. That is the Outback system. Um, notice the uh, uh, meter is, it is spinning. Uh, let me wait for that black dash to come around. So it's definitely in uh, battery backup mode. It's easier when you see that little black dash coming around. It's hard to see in the video, but it is it is moving. Here it is. There's a black dash. All right, and that shows how much power I'm using. All right, and uh, see as you can see. Okay, so three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight are uh, 
on there, but let me see here. System setup. Uh, let's see, so actually, circuit. Let me get a better view of this. This is number two. Let's see, light source is none. Should be uh, either. So now that should come on now. I can also set each one to uh, uninterruptible, um, only uh, two to eight. I can set up to un uninterruptible, and that means that uh, it will, when the power goes out, you won't get that delay. Because this has the delay in it where, so when it senses, it doesn't, um, so it doesn't hurt any linesmen. So it's got that delay. So I'm going to set it back to either. Um, all of them are on either. So whether or not the uh, the generator or the UPS, when the power goes out, either of them can power the loads. All right. And then the next, let's go to the uh, system status. Um, so that is the phase there. Um, system, system status. Okay, so it's hard to get it's hard to get a visual on this because of the glare. Let me see something here. Um, There we go. So, um, phase one is uh, 400 and let's say 57 watts. Oh, went back to let's see system status. Uh, phase two, about the same. There, it's pretty balanced, pretty good. Stays pretty consistent. Using under a thousand watts. All right, let's go around and see exactly what is on. And this light in here, that's given all the glare, that's part of the 12 volt battery array I have in the, uh, the other solar closet. All right, so that's 12 volt lighting right there. Harbor Freight, 12 volt lighting. All righty. Okay, so we'll start off in the kitchen here. I got the kitchen lights on. Um, got the ceiling fans on. Uh, if you can see that the uh, chest freezer is on, um, that little silly incubator thing uh, is part of the uh, outlets, so that's plugged into the kitchen outlets. Um, the microwave and the stove, they're on the, s the stove igniter because uh, it's a gas stove. Uh, that's on uh, with the generator, I believe. So when we kick on the generator, we'll see that coming on. Um, the key rig is uh, on with that circuit. I believe I don't have the dishwasher on that, so that's fine. Let's make sure the fridge is on, which it is. Fridge is on. All right, um, okay, next, so I'll go to the next room now. So while uh, we're here in my main living room, which is my only living room, <laughs> uh, so we got all of the lighting on in here. Everything in this house is LED or CFL, uh, mainly everything outside I, I, I want brighter, so that's CFL, and everything inside I uh, converted to LED. Now these are the LED uh, trim inserts retrofit which um, I've showed in a previous video and then I have some of the uh, like the Home Depot LED bulbs recess bulbs which I have in the uh, upstairs bedrooms alright so um, all the outlets in, in here also work here's the TV it's coming on and that's that's his favorite show right there Baby first TV. Right, Spencer? Give me a thumbs up, Spencer. Thumbs up. <laughs> Say hi. Wave hi. 
Say hi, Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Huh? Alright, I gotta give the tour of the house now, bud. Okay. So now I'm upstairs. Uh, this is the hallway lighting. Um, which are the LED uh, inserts. This is the stairwell. LED inserts. Um, I have uh, uh, a lot of these around. These are the uh, motion sensing um, maestro switches, which are really good, especially when you have kids, because they keep leaving the lights on. This has like a timeout of like one, five, or ten minutes, or something like that. I usually set them for one. And uh, I, on the hallway here, I put in a, a timer. Uh, because uh, you get the nuisances during the day. Uh, you could put a, a regular kill switch, but I have a timer, so the timer comes on only um, uh, at night, pretty much. And it has an override, so I can hit it on whenever. Okay, so now I'm in the bathroom. Um, when it, once I walk in, I'm sure that that um, sensor switch will detect me and the light will come on. Ta-da! So... Let me show you in here. This is my daughter's room. Um, these come on. Um, same thing. These are the uh, LED bulbs that I put in. And her ceiling light uh, comes on with it. I wired it to uh, go on with it. But uh, yeah, these are the, the regular uh, LED bulbs that you can buy at Home Depot. And I believe uh, just regular... CFLs, I think, in here. Yeah, one seems to be out right now. So I'll probably have to get some L some sort of LED candelabras for this eventually. All right, and this is a uh, this is a dimmer maestro sensor, which is pretty cool too, because uh, we can dim it down and. Uh, and then you don't have to have so much of the light. And I put these um, in pretty much all the bedrooms except for my son's room. But um, it's pretty nice. Alright. And this is my son's room. Uh, right now it's a guest room. But uh, yeah, everything LED in here. It's super bright in here. We don't even really need that fan light, but it was kind of one of those options where that fan needed the light. So um, Also, I have the fish tank running. The Grommy. So that is on the Outback system, too. Okay. Let's head on to the next bedroom. Ceiling fan. Same thing. Automatic lights that come on. Um, and with this fan, you need to uh, hit the. Oh, wrong button. It's one of those Casablanca. IntelliTouch fans where it has a special controller but yeah whew, there's the light there and that's those uh Home Depot LED bulbs in that too I hardly ever use that but it was a hand-me-down fan and uh, you can't beat can't beat the Casablanca fans because they're quiet and they they last forever alright so everything in here is on Alarm clocks, fans, and whatnot. And that's pretty much it. Um, now I'm going to hit the generator on and we'll see if what's on those other uh, um, circuits 1, 9, and 10. I believe it's the kitchen though, because everything else is, seems to be on. Alrighty.
Okay, I got the propane connected. Alright, and uh, everything's on. So I'm going to uh, give it a prime, which is back here. A couple taps, and we'll see. Okay, so now the uh, the generator's online, as you can see. Generator and the uh, UPS is online. Utility is not. Um, as you can see, uh, let me see system status. Um, that's the load right now of the gen uh, generator's power and the load. Okay, gen phase. Okay, voltage. All right, so that's all that. So, um, so now here's the microwave that was uh, off before, and there's the stove that was off before, and let's see if the um, the dishwasher still off but who needs that okay I found out the other circuit uh, it is the washer and dryer circuit that's number one all right okay so here's what's going on uh, with the generator on and the power is off as you can see the AC input light is off generators on um, I don't have this any way, shape, or form connected to this system. It's running through the uh, APC uh, transfer switch. So that generator feature for this is uh, uh, isn't connected or anything like that. So it has nothing to do with this system. And I I feel that that's probably better with the cheap generator that I have. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, right now we're only making uh, 420 watts of solar right now. Um, I'm guessing the uh, I'm guessing it's charging charging the uh, the batteries up. Batteries are 100 percent. So um, let me see here. Uh, you can see that the voltage is zero the power coming in um, let's see here graph yes, inverted charging buying selling uh, yeah um, battery really isn't tipping or anything So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, yeah, it works out. It works good to me. I mean, um, I'm glad that it's separate, as it won't affect this system at all. Because they say that the cheaper uh, generators would have some effect on the outback and whatnot. So I'm glad I have it separate. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to shut the generator off and get myself powered back on. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and um, there will be more to come, I'm sure. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.